Well, it's huge for us. So we've uh, we've had two two or three tough games already. Certainly, the first couple were stretched us in, in new and different ways. Um, and then the last game, we started to hit our straps a little bit, which was really really good for the lads. It's important now that we we maintain that momentum and get a good performance at home on Friday night uh, to carry into the last game. For you personally, it's your last home. Six Nations International before you, you step down as England 20s coach and it's back at a venue where you spent a lot of years as a, as a player and as an academy manager yourself so how much does it mean to you that this game's at Franklin's Gardens? It's really nice how it's worked out, it, it wasn't deliberate it's just when you look at the fixtures and I've obviously known for a while that I'm going to be moving on and you sit there and you go, well, that's quite a nice one to, to, for it to be my last home game but you know the, we've got a lot of guys here with, with big careers in front of them so my part in this is, is relatively small it's about those guys and their performance on Friday night We've got some home saints as well. Danny starting, obviously, which will be really, really great for him. And we're looking forward to getting the lads out on a, on a great surface in a great stadium. And in front of a great crowd as well, expected to be around about 8,000 at the moment, hopefully more than that. So, you know, for that, to be, how much motivation is that going to be for the lads? Oh, it's huge. I think we've seen over, over the last couple of years that when you get good home support, obviously it makes a difference. And, and the lads want to put on a show. They're, they're proud to be English and they want to play at good rugby clubs. And Northampton's a, an old, old rugby club. It's a great venue to come to. Not, notwithstanding anything else these guys are good players and some of them will be in that England jersey in a couple of years time and uh, it's a great opportunity to, to sit there and say oh, okay, yeah, I can remember that lad when he was an under 20 and to, to get involved with those guys going through to England We've been looking through the last time that England 20s played at Franklin's Gardens back in 2007 the likes of Danny Kerr, Dan Cole Tom Young's guys who are now regulars in the, in the, in the England Fools team you know, with two and a half years to go until the World Cup, how much of a, of a stepping stone could this be to, to some of the lads? Oh, well, over the last few years, it's proved to be a huge stepping stone. I mean, the, the guys that have come through in the last few years, like jo, the two Joes, Joe and uh, Marler and Launchbury, Owen, all, all these guys pushing through. Marco, the, there's a growing list of guys who've represented England, and there'll always be one or two who come around that route from come from a, from a different route. But then getting that experience within with an age group programme in combination with, with their club rugby, getting first team rugby with their clubs is really important to developing an all-round good player and, and, and that's really the key for us it's identifying and developing future internationals rather than the, the here and now as it were and that's that's key to the whole program is there anybody you think that people are going to sit and go or is this a t- too tough a question to go i was there when dot 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 Gosh, it is a very tough question. We've had some notable performances and uh, the guys are coming from uh, from different levels so far. I think it'll get harder and harder to push into that England team because it's a young team now and, and they're getting a little bit of experience. So it's going to get harder and harder to make that step up. But we cap on average 10 players a year uh, at senior level. So without a doubt, some of these guys that are on the pitch on Friday night are going to get capped. Danny, you've played quite a lot of rugby recently and not very much of it has been at Franklin's Garden. So as a Saints player, how much are you looking forward to going back on Friday night? Yeah, it's really good uh, playing at the Saints, Franklin's Gardens. Um, Hopefully get a bit longer than I've got in the last few games. Um, Looking forward to it. What are you getting out of the England under-20s experience this season? Yeah, I'm getting, um, well, I haven't actually got much game time, but as initially I weren't in the squad, so I'll, I'll I'll take every 10 five ten minutes I get but being around this environment you know with with the best under 20 players from from the country how much motivation and inspiration do you get out of that yeah it's good motivation just having class players around you at your age uh, knowing knowing the standards even lifting the standards as well with the boys what's the single biggest thing you've learned um, single mm, probably Scrum wise with Ian Peel, uh, he's helped me out quite a lot, especially under 18s, 90s, and 20s, uh, just technically in the scrum. You've been playing for Mosley as well in the championship most recently last, uh, last weekend, so what can you take out of that kind of experience into this environment? That's really good. Uh, it's good. It's good standard playing. I bring it in, into also the Six Nations, which is, if they're not really, it's not a big jump. Um, so it's good getting the physicality and the speed and the tempo of the game. And Friday night's game, how important is it to to set down a, a marker for the last weekend of the season? Yeah, it's a big it's a big game coming up. Um, how we played against France, especially the second half, um, carrying that forward into the game against Italy on Friday, and it'll be a good performance from the boys. Playing on home turf, as I said earlier on, you know you haven't really played much of Franklin's Gardens this season. But you know, with a big crowd expected, you know, what's it going to mean when you're lining up alongside potential club mates for the national anthems on on home turf? 
Yeah, it's going to mean a lot being at the gardens. Uh, family and friends are going to be there. Um, it's going to, I haven't played there since be before Christmas, so it's been a few months now. I'm looking forward to getting back out there and playing. And uh, there's 50 coming up from Deal. Um, you know, so to have that uh, to have that size of people coming up from Cairns on a Friday night. You know, for you personally, what does that mean? Yeah, it means a lot. It means a lot of support uh, from my club, Deal and Bexanger. Um, there's a big coach load coming up, family, friends, and there's also supporters. So yeah, it means a lot.